with my stuff. Hello, and welcome back to another tutorial video from the worst tutorial series ever to exist on YouTube. I am this guy John, also known as that guy John from my main YouTube channel, and this is the second video for my animation tutorials. So if you didn't watch the previous tutorial video, what is wrong with you? So to sum up the previous tutorial, we went over how I construct my character in Adobe Animate by using layers and symbols as well as the layer parenting feature, meaning that we convert each individual body part into its own separate layer, and we also paired each and every body part so that they move accordingly like any normal rig would. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how we can animate each individual body part. So since we turned our separate body parts into its own symbol, that means that each individual body part has its own animation timeline inside of it. What does that mean? Well, I'm about to show you. If you select your symbol layer and then right click it and then go to edit symbols, then you will enter in the timeline that was created for the symbol itself. So now we're inside the symbol layer for the face that we created. And here is what we're going to do. Now that we've entered the symbol, we can now create our own individual keyframes for each individual expression. Now this is a symbol of the face for my character. So this means that every expression that I'm going to be making will be in this symbol. So let's go ahead and draw our expressions. Now, in this instance, I have created both my eyes and my mouth in one symbol, but that doesn't mean you have to as well. You can separate the eyes and mouth into separate symbols if you like, but this is how I have set it up in my tutorial, so this is what we're going to be going along with. So what I'm going to do is separate the, separate the eyes into a separate layer so that we don't have to redraw it every time. All right, now the eyes are separate to the mouth. And by the way, something else that you should know about symbols is that not only do they have their own animation timeline inside of it, but you can also create layers within symbols as well. So that's a handy little feature that you can use. All right, so we have our one drawing here, but we need to make multiple drawings because our character should be able to make multiple expressions. So how do we make our drawings? Well, what we can do is we can extend our layers by selecting them both, or you can select a specific area in the timeline, and then you just press create new keyframes or insert frames and it will extend the length of the frames. All right, so now what we can do is we can go to frame two, and then we can create a blank keyframe. And if you want to keep your mouth shapes consistent, then I recommend turning on the onion skinning tool, which means that you can see previous frames as you've progressed through the timeline. So I've went ahead and zoomed in so I can draw my mouth shapes with perfection. So what we're going to do now is draw our separate mouth shapes. So a little bit of technical difficulties, I apologize for that. My system crashed and I had to draw new mouth shapes and my, my recording footage got corrupted. So yay, isn't that fun? Be sure to save your work every five to 10 minutes just to, just to be safe. And don't be dumb like me. All right, now that we've drawn each individual mouth shape and colored them to our heart's content, we can now exit the symbol by going to the arrow icon on the top corner here. All right, now that we've exited our face symbol, we can now begin animating it. So before anything else, what we can do is we can extend our timeline by going and selecting our layers here and then pressing this icon right here, which is insert frame. And that will extend all of our frames to that selected area. Now here's something else that you should do after you've extended your frames. So now that we've drawn our character, what we're going to have to do is select all of our symbols and making sure that the looping mode is set to play single frame for the graphic. So if it's set to play graphic in loop, it will loop the animation as the timeline progresses. Since we don't want that to happen, we're going to have to set it to play single frame for the graphic. And there we go. It will stop looping. All right, now that we've set our characters so that they won't loop sequentially, we can now begin animating them. So let's go ahead and select a moment in our timeline where we want the face to move. I'm going to set it to frame 10. And making sure that we're on the face layer and having the face symbol selected, we can now go to properties and make sure that we're in the object mode. So with our face symbol selected, we're going to properties, object, and now we're going to be going to Frame Picker. And this will bring up a preview menu showing all of our frames and little thumbnails. And what we can do is we can click on these thumbnails. And once we click on the thumbnail, it will create a frame in our timeline. And select a new frame, and it will create a new animation. And that will apply in the timeline. So we can exit out of this Frame Picker, and our animation will play in the timeline once we hit play. And there we go, our face moved. Now, since we've paired the face to the head, what we can do is we can also animate the head layer so that it rotates slightly. All right, so I've went ahead and animated the head. So if we hit play, our animation will retain with the head movement. And that's pretty much it. We can apply the same animation method for all of our symbols, not just the face. So you can enter in the arm layer and create a new drawing for a, like a wacky arm shape if you like. 
and you can animate it using the same method that we used for the face. And all the rotation data will save as the animation is being played, and it's pretty much as simple as that. So yeah, that's pretty much how I animate my character's facial expressions and other actions. So if you really enjoyed this tutorial and you want to demand more, then I recommend leaving a like on the video and demanding for more in the comments section below. And if you didn't enjoy it, then that would hurt my feelings. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the previous tutorial video and leaving a lot of positive feedback. I really enjoyed reading what you guys had to say, and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed my previous tutorial. And with that being said, goodbye!